Necessity is the mother of invention, and I've lived uh, and worked in a lot of uh, areas where there was absolutely nothing but, but a huge bucket of problems. You look at those problems and you try and find solutions. From his little cabin in the woods near Tahlequah, David Nuttall is trying to save the planet, and he may gain a new title in the process. Greenest person in the planet. It's a competition started by Third Whale, an environmental group in Canada. And I'm not the greenest person in the world, maybe the greenest promoter of technologies, of green technologies, but uh, I'm in the finals of that competition. Through his nonprofit corporation, Needful Provision Inc., David is providing his expertise as a survivalist and inventor to help those in need around the world. His composting toilets, water purification systems, and agricultural improvements are allowing for a better life for the local villages he visits in the third world. The demand for local, you know, fresh organic food is huge, and that demand's not being met. One of the things NPI is getting ready to do is is train uh, low-income uh, minority and refugee farmers in organic food production, and we already have a number of schools that want that food for organic school lunch programs. We have food co-ops that want it for people in the community. So the demand is huge. All we have to do is get the farmers trained and, and get the processing and marketing systems organized. Solar-powered refrigerators, solar-powered ovens, and trade those to villagers that have no cash, but they have barter items. We have one tribal group that wants to trade uh, neem seed for solar-powered refrigerators. David Nuttall's low-tech solutions are being adopted worldwide, partly because they require little energy input. You, you go into these villages where, you know, they have no electricity, they have no sanitation, no potable water, and, you know, kids are dying from, from uh, waterborne diseases because they're drinking water with uh, human waste, uh, with all the bacterium and viruses and parasites. You give them potable water, you know, it's an immediate solution. You give them a, you know, you provide, you put in a biogester where they can produce methane and, and uh, have green electricity from the methane. You know, suddenly they've got lights in a community center, or maybe a TV. Uh, where that was done in villages in, in Africa where they had no electricity, uh, the HIV AIDS rate went down more than 50% just because they had lights and TV and a, and a community center. And how does David feel about finding solutions to some of the nagging problems of the third world? Well, the, there's no end to problems, so the motivation is always there to try to find a solution. Chris Howell, NewsOn6.com.